Ghosts and Holes of Your Mouth podcast show, Ghosts and Demons of Japanese Folklore. A phantom is an image that refuses to go away in its absence of a place unknown. Who there is and ought to be in the West and the East, we enter valid ghosts, the spirits of dead people, especially the death occurred in a violent or painful context. Despite our religious beliefs, death is also a social construct, and ghosts, in some mythological sense, can be a sort of a fixed idea of collective imagination that refuses to leave. The mythical creatures characters in Japanese folklore have arrived in West primarily through horror films like Ring the Rings, through manga and anime, but traditional stories like ev- ev- likewise st- st- still fear with an air that's st- utterly terrifying by American standards, it is a crucial of ghosts of noble lineages from the history of Japan who represent a presence inseparable from Japanese historical sites. Though many of these ghostly figures are involved with moral dangers in their legends of origin, their re- representations and humanizing details of their personalities have become humorous or from the figure of the Coco and other figures and the most scaring children. Here are some of those recurring entities in Japanese folklore. Baku, Buku Munu, B-A-K-K-E-M-O-N-O these are shape-shifting demons who often take the forms of animals like cats and who are generally destructive. The word means changing thing and is a meaning, it has a meaning similar to the word beast. Unani, O-N-I. These are demons of ogres but with humanoid forms. They can take almost any size and shape but some are described as gigantic, and they are, and they have distinctive horns on their heads. The word one in Chinese literally means ghost. In the beginning, they were visible, though over time, the meaning of the word has changed. Tinguyu, T-E-N-G-U, a celestial dog is a type of demon thought to be big, part bird, part dog, part human. Representations from the 14th century are drawn with beaks and wings, but more recent versions are represented with moss or long, very long noses. According to some legends, these demons were corrupt monks who kept people from Buddhism, so some religious festivals offering are still necessary to keep them at bay. Yuki Onio, U-K-I dash O-O-N-O O-O-N-A Lady of the Snow is one of the most famous legends of Japan. She is a tall, beautiful woman who appears only during sandstone, snowstorms. Some versions of the story have her appearing nude, others wearing a long kimono. At times she has legs and sometimes not, but she never le- leaves traces of her movements across the snow. A glance can, from her can cripple those who see it, and if you like, she'll draw the life from you through your mouth. Oh, yeah. O W. A. My survivor's Uri in uh, is Uri is U R U R I E I is Uri a the eventual spirit of a young woman betrayed by her husband. His name was Yushira Karanie. She was married to a Roman a samurai free agent who went wanted to get rid of her to marry a younger, wealthier woman. To this end, Yushira was given a poisonous cosmetic cream that had defigured her face. Death followed, through, though some variations to pray the death as being more accidental, but before the summer the new castle could be cursed. The ghosts appeared everywhere, and eventually everyone ha- had conspired against her was driven crazy. Kurushiro Onryo, K-U-C-H-I-S-C- a K E dash O N O, a lady of the cult mouth, is urban legend originating from the late 19th centuries. Reportedly, Uru appears wearing a mask or surgeon's mask and asks kids if you like, think the mask is beautiful. If the answer is yes, she wears a mask with an enormous mouth without the corners are gashed out from ear to ear. She may then return to ask again. If you think she's beautiful, you can say with a neutral response such as, you look good, or offering candy. However, upon seeing the cut mouth, 
You answered that she looks beautiful. She'll cut your own mouth such that you'll now look like her.